I wanted to show you this really cool software that I discovered after the entire pandemic and probably half of the internet already discovered it. And it's called, uh, it's, it's called OBS. And I just, I, I thought this was really cool. So I'm going to show you this. Woo! This is, uh, I, I just, you know, as a kid, you used to walk, um, in front of those mirrors and then you used to like, I love that they made this like this. Like, they could have obviously done something in the software to make this not happen. But the fact that they just had a fun time with the algorithm, I think... Oh, God, there's got to be a Matt Parker video about this. If there's no stand-up math video that that like works with this oh he's missing a trick god i fucking love this i could do this all day oh my god wow and the best part is this software is free i thought it was broken for a minute um because it wasn't, it wasn't letting me uh, record my screen, and uh, well, now I have to move this over here because yeah, uh, I thought it was broken because I was gonna show you this website here, and then I was gonna move myself down here, right? But then I noticed that I couldn't see my my uh, my screen, and I was like, "Oh God, is it broken?" No, it wasn't broken. I had to go into settings and privacy, and then I had to um, allow the screen to appear. This website is called Wordle. I mean, Wordle, um, which is a play on Wordle. Oh God, I'm I'm. I'm kind of happy that that I'm I'm doing this. Uh, what is this called? Streaming. I'm actually enjoying this. I don't know why. It's fun. I get to show you all the things that I've been doing um, over the pandemic. I hate Wordle. I mean, Wordle's fine if you don't know what Wordle is. Probably got. Um. Wordle.com, if, if if you don't know what this website is by now, I don't know where you've been living. Oh, God. Oh, that's not it. Wordle. No, not .com. Go Wordle. Um, Wordle, the New York Times. Yeah, so it was bought by the New York Times, but it wasn't originally a New York Times thing. The reason why the New York Times even knew what this little block of stuff was, was because basically it was shared over and over and over on the internet by journalists on Twitter. So, so, some journalist somewhere found out about this website, and they shared it on, on Twitter. And all of their friends are journalists. You know, most journalists follow journalists. I'm going to say there aren't that many regular journalists in the world that have normal people following them outside of the actual newspaper or company. But journalists f really religiously follow each other. And I saw it on Jessica Perez's Twitter, and then I saw it on Bethel Hobday's, and then I saw it on um, Nolan... I want to say I saw it on Nolan Peterson. See, this was before shit hit it off in Ukraine. 
um, hot it up. There we go. That's the word. And then, so basically, what you have to do is you have to type A. Oh, I'm on this screen. A. E I O U. U. Right. Oh, but that's not a word. So you want to get a word. So the M, there is an M in the word, but it's not in the right spot. But there is no A and there is no I. So there could be a U or a E. So there's no U and there's no E. So I've eliminated all of the vowels. And what am I left with? Oh. There we go. Oh. There's no O. I, did, I wrote a word without an O. Man, love. There's no O. There's no A, there's no I, there's no E, no O, no U, but there's an N and an M, and they're not in the right spot. A E I O U. What word has no vowels? And this is why I hate this game because there's no M in that. Jim, J Jim, and that's not in the word list, so I can't just like fucking so fugal frown, right? And then the word was nymph, Jesus Christ. And then of course you have to you have to go on to Twitter and you have to go here and you have to say search for I'm gonna move this down here and you have to search for Wordle, of course. And it's gonna show up People post about it every day, and somebody is gonna. <laughs> Me after solving the wordle every day. Oh, God. Yeah, so 20 hours ago. So, nymph was the word, right? Hands up, who felt personally victimized? Here, here we go. Who felt personally victimized by today's wordle? <laughs> um, so I, I like the memes a lot more than I like uh, um, Wordle. I hate Wordle. But Wordle is much better than Wordle. All you have to do is guess the shape of this country. And these were my guesses. I guessed Denmark, Iceland, Singapore, Trinidad and Tobago. 
I knew it wasn't Iceland, Trinidad and Tobago, or um, Singapore, because I know the shapes of those countries. And then I realized, oh, this probably isn't a fucking country, because it says territories somewhere on here. It says countries and territories. And I was like, ah. Oh. I wonder if it's some very obscure place that nobody fucking thinks about ever. My first guess, of course, was Denmark, which looks similar, but I know that this, this is not where Copenhagen is. Copenhagen, it's much slimmer here, and it doesn't jut out to the left like this. So if you actually want to to guess the shapes of countries, there's a website called jetpunk.com and this is what I suggest much more. Oh, God, my face is really bright on this. I suggest this website a lot more. I'm gonna go down here, minimize actually go over here and I'm gonna type in shapes shapes uh, pixelated shapes so you go here I I wouldn't suggest this for a first timer so I'm gonna go view uh, I don't know how to view the the back bar when I'm full screen like that. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to shapes country <laughs> country shapes under oh I yeah this one was really fun. So you might not realize what's going on here. But if I type Molly, oh, Molly's in this picture. What are the other countries in here? And is that Cuba over there? No, it isn't. Is that Panama? Oh, it sure is. I'm not going to ruin all of the uh, other uh, countries for you. Because that one's a really fun special game. But what I am going to do is I'm going to go to the world countries of the world quiz and I'm gonna show you right now that I can name all of them at least the ones that are recognized by this software um, which is a hundred ninety six that can't be right four to five I know all of them. Okay. So we're going to go. We have 15 minutes USA, Canada, Mexico. Fun thing, you may not have known this, but if you did, congratulations. You cannot type in Greenland. Because Greenland, if you didn't know this, is actually owned by Denmark. And I want you to focus on this little place right here to the north of Brazil. So we're going to type in Brazil. That's going to light green. We're going to type in Guyana and Suriname. But this one, you can get all of the South American countries. Paraguay U R U G U A Y Uruguay you have to spell them right to or at least close to correct how people in certain countries spell them for the majority but these are all the South South American countries the actual countries that are in South America so what's this little one? Oh well I guess some people might consider Trinidad and Tobago as part of it, because that's right there. 
you, you might not realize how close Trinidad and Tobago is to South America, but it's literally right, right frickin' there. What is this? Colonialism. You see how that lit up green? That's France right there. There's also a little bit of France right there. There's also France right there. There's Denmark stuff that lit up green right here. The Lesser Antilles. I mean, Australia used to be Dutch, owned by the Netherlands. South Africa used to be Dutch. Macau, which is not a country, used to be European. Hong Kong, all this stuff. In fact, <laughs> every country in Africa used to be Euro European. Oh, I guess I should do Panama. L. Is it more... Uh, is it, is it going to be more interesting of a video if I go all in order? Let's, let's say that I can't name a country unless it's touching another country. Unless I have to jump the ocean, of course. But I want to name all of the... Uh, that's Honduras. St. Kitts, Cuba, Bahamas, Jamaica, Haiti, so, and this one's interesting. I would write Dominican Republic, but as soon as you write Dominica, that's a different country. So you have to d type in Dominica and then the Dominican Republic. You don't have to type spaces, which is really cool. But then St. Lucia, St. Vincent, and you don't have to, and uh, see these, these countries are called St. Kitts and Nevis, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, but you only have to type in the first one, which I think is really cool. It saves time, even though I'm waffling right now. I just think this game, this, this game actually helped me to learn all of the names of the countries in the world. You might be wondering where the hell these countries are that I'm that I'm typing right now. Just focus on the islands. I'm naming all of the islands right now. Madagascar, Iceland, Grenada, Barbados, Antigua, and Barbuda. Uh, the Seychelles, all of these places are probably places that you've heard of. You've just, you just have this vague idea that they're somewhere in the ocean. So, now focus on this one. Should I go from this direction or this direction? I'm going to go from this direction. So, first... The big island nation there is Malaysia. I've already named Singapore, right? You have to spell it right. And then Indonesia, New Guinea. But you may not realize there's a little bit right there that's not highlighted. That's called Brunei, and it's called the Sultanate of Brunei. It's this little tiny country. It's this kingdom on this island, actually. And then on this island, in uh, right here, at the end of this island in uh, Indonesia, at the top of Australia right there, very near Darwin, is this place called Timor, and I'll sp space it for you, Timor-Leste. And that is actually just the language for East Timor. Timor is an island, and the country of East Timor is on the east 
of Timor. So it's East Timor, East Timor. And then if you go further east, there's East Timor, East Timor, East Timor. There's also West Timor, East Timor, East Timor. I think... <laughs> um, sorry. Solomon Islands. Uh, Vanuatu. Fiji. New Zealand. And fun fact, New Zealand is not named after that place in the Netherlands. Weirdly. Or no. Correction. It is named after that place in the Netherlands. It's not named after the place in Denmark. There's a place in Denmark that's spelled Z-E-A-L-A-N-D, but the place that New Zealand is named after is a place in the Netherlands called Z-E-E-L-A-N-D, and it's south of Holland. Tonga, Samoa, and you see I'm going in order? I actually know where they all are, too. The big one here is called Kiribati. This one here is called Tuvalu. That's that one right there. Not... Oh, why did I... Nauru? Micronesia. Peleu. And the last one. Marshall Islands. Which actually used to be... There's a lot of U.S. territory out here as well. There's Guam. And you see a, a Samoa here. There's American Samoa. Uh, there's the Johnson Atoll is over here, actually, uh, Midway, all this stuff is out here. You've heard of Midway if you know anything about World War II. That's actually north of Hawaii here. Hawaii is actually much bigger. Underwater, Hawaii connects with the Aleutian Islands. All of that is an actual mountain range underwater. If you look at a satellite image, it all connects. It's really cool. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna burn through them right now because I'm talking so much. Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar is what they call Burma now. By the way, it's not called Burma anymore. It's called Myanmar. I'm just gonna I'm gonna pop up here where the ad would normally be. There we go. Um, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, India, China. Now, Sri Lanka is right here, but I'm, I'm really glad, a lot of people are really glad that this website has more balls than most American presidents in recognizing that Taiwan is a different fucking country than China. And my social score in China has just completely dropped. <laughs> if you know what that means, congratulations. And these, these are the ones that are hard to spell for most Americans. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, watch how I'm spelling these. K-Y-R-G-Y-Z-S-T-A-N. Kyrgyzstan. Uzbekistan. Turkmenistan. I'm not even looking at the map. I'm looking straight at the camera. <laughs> uh, Pakistan. Oh, yeah. Pakistan. Afghanistan. Oh. Gotta spell it. Gotta spell it right. Iran. Armenia. Azerbaijan. Fucking Azerbaijan. Now, some people spell these a little bit differently. So, if you go on to different websites with similar games, they're going to spell them slightly differently. So, you got to... Oh, that one's Georgia. <clears throat> you got to learn the slightly different variations because 
like most of these places if if I was to type in coat D I V O I R E it would give me the same answer as Ivory Coast because they're the same words. The Ivory Coast is Côte d'Ivoire in French. But they want you to call it like they call it in the local language. Now, Côte d'Ivoire is the French for the Ivory Coast. It makes sense that both would be acceptable in this platform. But the Finns, they don't call their country Finland when they're talking in Finnish. They call it Swatomi or some shit like that. And it doesn't even mean the same thing. Côte d'Ivoire. Côte means coast. D'Ivoire. Of ivory. Ivory coast. It's exactly the same word. But Swatomi is not the same word as Finland. <laughs> it's not the same word at all. But they're fine with everyone else in the world calling them Finland. So I've talked about it so much. I'm going to just go Finland. But I'm, I'm working my way through the Middle East. So, Yemen is right there. Oh, man. UAE. You might not realize, you've heard a lot about Doha, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Bahrain. They're all right here. Really, really, a lot of money is all right here and a little bit right there. This is where, like, half the oil money in the world is. I don't want to say that for real. It's an arbitrary number that I'm pulling out of my ass. Oh, I've only got a minute because I've talked so fucking much. Let's see if I can blast them. I always get those confused. I've only got a minute. Jesus, I'm gonna fail because I talk so fucking much. Can I name them all in 50 seconds? I don't, I don't think so. Oh God. Oh. Uh. Maybe if I just get Africa. These are hard spellings. Q U I T R I L Q. God, it's going. Oh, God. Chad. Oh God. Oh. Uh. Oh. oh God. Anyways, <laughs> but I do know all of the countries in the world is what I'm trying to say. And if I wasn't uh, just so interested in world geography. And actually trying to make this an actual video. Um, yeah, you might have enjoyed yourself a little bit more. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it would be more appealing. Let's see what shape I can make with the, the world here. I want to make a shape of red with the world. Oh, how can I make a shape... Oh god. Let's see. If if I go Ooh. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I want to make a shape. Um Oh god. Pull on. <laughs>
I gotta focus. I, I want to make this shape. Oh, it's a little bit wider. I gotta go. Czechia, Austria. Oh, I don't want to throw in Italy in there, so I'm just gonna go Chad. Uh, C A R. And then I'm gonna spell. Oh, what am I spelling? Or what am I making? I'm gonna make. What shape can I make? Ah, there we go. It's Jesus. I just made Jesus with the countries, or the cross, I should say, the crucifix. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have typed in Congo. And then if I click give up, there we are. <laughs> it's a crucifix in a bloody world. Oh God, this is fun. What other, what other complex thing can I make? Oh. I could <laughs> I could make a flag um Oh, I already I already did it wrong. Oh. Did I If you know what I'm making, don't speak. Uh. I didn't even need to type that. It doesn't even show up on the map. There we go. Got the top. Oh my god. By the way, it's not called Swaziland anymore. It's called Eswatini. Eswatini -E, with an I at the end. That's this little tiny one right there. It, it, in case you wondered where that was. This is less o -so, The little one right there. I mean, relatively speaking to South Africa, it's little. It's about the size of, and let's see if you got that. <laughs> green on top, green on bottom, red in the middle. I'm pretty sure that's a flag. I don't know. Country flags. What flag did I just make? Uh, I only had two colors to work with. I guess I could have made Oman. might not be a flag actually they're not very complimentary colors you got to put white in the middle of those colors yeah that's not a flag but 
I want to show you this. Not true size of dot com, true size of countries, the true size dot com. This website is an immeasurable tool, right? So I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this. Get rid of these. The world is not flat. We got to say that up front. The world is round. So if I go to Google Maps, maps.google.com, and it's going to load, and if I zoom out, this is the town I live in, by the way. It's called Ellensburg, Washington. And if I zoom out all the way, the world in, in in Google Maps it shows up like this, right? Wait, that's round. Yeah, it's round because I went into layers and I went into more and I clicked on globe view. So if I unclick globe view right here, the world goes back to flat. It's called a projection. It's like having to cut a circle and make it flat. So if you want to see the world the way it truly is, you have to click globe view. And that's why, you know, why there are some things that just surprise you the more you learn about geography. Oh, and by the way, what I was talking about earlier, if you look in satellite view, oh, these clouds are the clouds that are actually over the earth right now. I didn't. I don't know if you knew that. But Google shows you the clouds that are actually in the sky at the present moment. Wow, that's uh, only slightly concerning. It's, it's not quite uh, cyclonic yet. Those are just upper atmosphere clouds, but it's, it's a little bit disturbing. Um, but that'll be gone tomorrow. It'll be a completely different sky. But if you take a look at Hawaii, this is where Hawaii is. These are the underwater mountains that we know about, right? These are what our satellites can capture. And if you follow this range all the way up here, it goes all the way up and it does connect kind of with the Aleutian Islands in Canada right here you ought to take a look at the water in satellite view for a little bit here's some interesting things that I've learned about geography Sarah Palin wasn't actually being that inaccurate when he sh she said that she could see Alaska from her backyard because Diomede or Diomedes big and little, these are two islands in the Bering uh, Crossing between Alaska and Russia. And these are literally Alaska and Russia. But the distance between them is less than three miles. It's two and a half miles. 3.79 kilometers right there from that point to that point let's let's get more accurate here it is 3.73 so it's it's two almost less than two and a half miles between Russia and Alaska and you might not have realized that now I'm gonna close this out and if you look, nobody lives on this island. There's nobody here. Oh, wait. No. Somebody does live here. Wow. People live right here. Who are these people? And why do they live on this side? They don't live on this side. They live on that side. And then, if you look over here, 
Are there people who live here too? Are there? No, surely not. There's a crashed aircraft. Uh, why would anyone live on this island? It doesn't make any sense. Is that a house? No, that's a glacier. Yeah. I don't think anyone lives there, but maybe. But that's only three miles. And then it's actually not that far from here to here. It's only 50 miles. And are there bridges in the world that are that big? Are there tunnels in the world? Let's see. Longest floating bridge. Because it has to be a floating bridge. Oh, that's actually across the Narrows, isn't it? Oh, no, that's, a lot, that's across Lake Washington. Seattle to Bellevue, that's across Lake Washington. Wow. That's the longest floating bridge. Because that's a lake. So it's not really like choppy water. Longest bridge. Bridge in the world. How long is it? It's also in America. It's in that. Oh no, it's in China. A hundred two miles? Sh Shanghai and Nanjing? So that's definitely doable, especially because you've got an island in the middle. It's only 20 miles, 24 miles from Wales, 22 miles from, is this place called Wales? Like Wales as in UK, Scotland, Wales? With a little airstrip? Well, that's cool. Anyways, I'm probably getting really boring. But yeah, the world is not flat. That's something that I wanted to show you. And I forgot why I mentioned it. <laughs> why did I mention that? Oh yeah, the true size of. So, the world isn't flat. So how big are things really? So we live in the United States. And let's say that I want to see how big the United Kingdom is. It's going to pop up here. And I'm going to drag it over. It's a lot bigger than you think it is. It, Shetney and or Orkney are way up in Seattle. And London is, is down in Sacramento. So the UK is a lot bigger than you think it is. It, it's about the size of California. That is correct. But you lay it over the center of the country. Oh wow, you see how it's it's getting bigger as you drag it up and it's shrinking as you get smaller? That's because on most projections, countries appear larger the more north you go. The more north you go, countries get way bigger. So if I was to put it here, wow, it's it's bigger than Florida. You know and you think of it as such a small country. So what if I was to compare Greenland? Because you see it up here on this huge giant thing up here on a lot of maps. And it's just not that big, is it? 
No, it isn't. It isn't that big at all. It is, com I mean, compared to the United States, it's, you lay it on its side, it's not even half. But how big is it compared to, to a country like Mexico? Oh, wow. So Greenland is about the size of Mexico. It's a big place. And you remember how I said it, it gets bigger as you drag it north. It gets a lot bigger because of the projection. Well, the same thing happens when you go south. So, whoa. Antarctica obviously isn't that big. So I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to just drag the USA... United States contiguous 48 because it's the most important country in the world I'm gonna drag it over to Australia and see oh we're the same size almost we're almost the same size I mean different shape but from coast to coast it's about the same it's just they have different climate you know they're in a different spot in the world. They've got a different, uh, I mean, from that far north to that far south, it's not that different, but they got this big giant desert in the middle of it, and we don't. That's because we have mountain ranges going up this side, down this way, a bunch of mountains right here, mountains all over here. So our desert is this part, basically. The hottest part is right here where their desert is all of this, all of this white area is basically just desert. So how big is the United States compared to Africa? Because we, we see Africa as so, yeah, these like four countries are bigger than the United States. Well, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, like five countries, six, seven, seven countries bigger than the United States, right? You could probably fit four of these countries in here. Oh, wow, it's getting bigger as you go north. See what I mean? United States compared to Europe, it's about the same size as well. I mean, if I'm going to put Washington State on Ireland, which is about the same climate, and I go over to, I'm in Kazakhstan in Maine. Wow, that's, that's weird. But if I go down to Spain, you see, the world is weird. And that's why I encourage you to look at the world in globe view whenever you're looking at the world. Because then, when you want to map a straight line, to Japan you realize you're going to fly over Russia from most of the country if you're going to fly there direct and that's why most of us fly to Anchorage and then to Japan from wherever you are in the country you're flying to Anchorage first and then you're flying to Japan or South Korea. You're still flying over Russia. If you're flying over Anchorage, you got to fly over Russia. So you got to do this. That's what you have to do now. Because if you weren't aware, Russian airspace is closed after the Ukraine invasion. So, but going to Anchorage makes a lot more sense for us. But what if you live in a place like Finland and you want to go to Japan? Oh shit, you can't. You just, you just can't. So what do you got to do? You got to fucking, you got to fuck about. You can't fly through Ukraine either because that's an active war zone. You, you gotta fly through friendly countries 
you gotta go to big airports. Actually, the big airport is gonna be here in Athens. There we go. There's no big airport there, so you gotta go to Berlin. You gotta go backwards to go down to get around Russia, to get to Japan. And you can't fly through North Korea. You've had thousands of miles. Hundreds, maybe thousands. But you've added at least a thousand miles to your journey. Your your total distance is nine thousand miles, whereas the original one was four thousand miles. So you yeah you've added so many miles because of this fucking thing in Ukraine. The whole world has suffered because of this. I, I don't just mean suffered physically or, or from the fact that, that we live in terrible times. But Russia has the largest airspace in the world. So you're waiting on your iPod. You might not get it a while. You, yeah. And that's what I'm saying. God, how long is this video? How long is this video? 52 minutes. Wow, I've been talking for an hour. I wonder if people even care. Whoa, that's cool. What else can I do with this software? Huh. I guess I could choose this individual application and just show you this. Oh, but I also want to show you something that I'm angry with, which is called GeoGuessr. I'm angry with this website because you used to be able to play classic... It's this game where you just drop yourself into the world and you used to play, be able to play one free game a day but now your free game lasts for five minutes and that just doesn't make any sense because it used to be that you could oh shit no there we go you could play this game and you see I'm already I've already got 30 seconds off my time for as long as you wanted to search around for clues um, like this triangle thing I don't know see these are not American signs so these are Europe somewhere I don't know what country in Europe but if I'm gonna go closer and look at a sign what languages and that is something so oh wait these are yield signs if we find a stop sign in this country are these the stop signs okay so this is obviously going to be a country that has not signed the United Nations um, Pact or Declaration on Stop Sign Regulation. Because all stop signs in the world are supposed to look the same. Basically because we had the first ones really. Um, they're like, hey, uh, we want stop signs too, but uh, we don't know what they should look like internationally so can they look like yours and we're like yeah sure but then us being the people that we are we didn't sign on to them uh, to that accord or that agreement that resolution I don't know what language this is so you gotta go around and you gotta figure out where you are in the world you use every clue at your disposal 
So, uh, these houses have fences. This is a rich house. This is a poor house. That's a, a, a rabbit or a golf. It's a golf because we're in Europe. God. Wow, that gives me some memories. Oh. Yeah. That memory. Oh, boy. Um... <laughs> And uh, you identify what make and model of cars are these. We're driving on the right side of the road, so we're not in the UK. Obviously, the road signs are different. Uh, and then another thing you got to do is that you actually have to look at the people who are staring at the Google car, and you got to say, you got to make judgments about people, and you got to make judgments about the tile roofs. These roofs are all terracotta, and they look European. We're in Europe. You have to make judgments about people in this game, or you're not going to beat it. I, I have no idea where we are. I just know from looking around, I'm getting the vibes that we're in Eastern Europe, somewhere to the north, or the center, or the south of Eastern Europe. Because of all of this, something about it is just telling me we're in fucking... I, I don't know why, but I'm going to say somewhere around here, somewhere like that. And I've only got 40 seconds for my, my game. See, if I had more time, if it used to be... And this is why I'm angry with GeoGuessr. If it used to be the way that it used to be, or if, if, if it was the way that it used to be, then I could take as much time as I wanted to find myself and play this free game, and then 24 hours later, it would show me another free game, right? But I could take as much time as I wanted. Okay, so I wasn't that bad. I was only 188 miles off. I guessed this part of Poland. I was further south of Poland, but I was in Poland. I don't even know how I got that. Maybe subconsciously I know the Polish language because I've looked at these letters on a map. Um, and it just, it seemed, it seemed Polish, but it seemed south Polish to me. But now I have to wait nine and a half minutes to play another round and that's the free version so pro is gonna be it's not bad at all it's not bad at all but I don't have that right now and I just started playing this again so I have to wait until I have literally three dollars which is gonna be a week from now um, when I get paid so I am at 59 minutes nice so I'm at I'm at a full hour um what else have I been fucking around with on the internet god I don't know ooh reddit uh reddit um Drew Drew Durnell is this creator on YouTube that I that I found while I was um, this past week oh god oh god there we go I'm still learning this software so all this stuff over here <laughs> god what does this say Macedonia's revenge I don't, mm, I don't get it. I can't read that. But Drew Durnell has this YouTube channel where he literally just goes onto his Reddit. This is his Reddit feed. Other people post stuff 
onto his feed, and then he reacts to it. It's the simplest thing I've ever seen. There's this other kid named, uh, and I want to call him a kid because he's younger than me. I wonder if IVX Toy Cat. There we are. He's he's young. I'm pretty sure he's younger than me. I'm 29. I don't know how old he is. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah. When I haven't been outside, this is <laughs> what I've been uh, fucking around with. Just... <laughs> um, I don't know. These make these make me laugh. Anyways, it is now just over an hour. That's the end of my stream. Goodbye. <laughs>